cop right now. A Kalashnikov gun. Run, guys, run! Arf. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elena, and today we're watching Hot Fuzz. To be honest, guys, yesterday I had an awful day. All things just went awful. I don't know why. But today I have the opposite mood. I'm gonna watch a comedy. Not a romantic one, but with action elements. So, my choice, Hot Fuzz. Simon Peck, Nick Frost and Martin Freeman. Besides, we hadn't touched a comedy genre for a couple of weeks, maybe even more. I'm excited about this movie. I think it will most likely be fun. Guys, also, I want to share with you a ridiculous fact. After the filming 300, I was super excited because it was a really awesome movie and I wanted to upload this video very quickly, very quickly. First off, page where I was uploading my video just freezed for no reason. After that, my internet connection was so unstable, speed became just extremely low. I had been uploading this video during six hours instead two. That's why I'm telling you this story. You know, I noticed when I want to do something quickly and important for me, 80% I face with unpredictable problems or problems I couldn't impact. Why is that? I know it's more rhetorical question, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's freaking annoying me so much. Sometimes my emotions like fireworks. <laughs> yes. If someone struggling with that sh like me, please write me under the video. Please. Just write. So, I think I should start. Grab your snack, guys, and here we go. Oh, it was loud. Siren? Alarm? What? Police Constable Nicholas Angel. Notably Earl Pacification and Wire Control. Oof. Final new examinations. Received the battle. <laughs> I like that hat or maybe a helmet, I don't know how correct to say. Came heavily involved in a number of extra vocational activities. To this day holds the death record for the hundred meter dash, most recently in December, when we did by a man's arrest. That's not the Christmas. <laughs> Your arrest record is 400% higher than any other officer. Wow. Skills will put to better use. We're making you sergeant. I see. In Sanford, Gloucestershire. In where, sorry? In Sanford, Gloucestershire. That's in the country. Isn't there a sergeant's position here in London? <laughs> no. Can I remain here as a PC? No. Do I have any choice in this? No. <laughs> Sergeant, I kind of like it here. But you've always wanted to transfer to the country. In 20 years or so, yes. You said I'd love to settle down in the country sometime, Janine. <laughs> it seems like he's too talented for this place. I'd like to talk to the inspector. And you'll continue to be exceptional. And we can't have that. You'll put us all out of a job. With respect, sir. <laughs> and that's what the team is going to make of this. They're gonna say to him goodbye! It seems like he annoyed his colleagues, even wife. Music. It's rainy. We fans of the local fish river, are we, man? They listed her age as 55. When I'm actually 53! <laughs> What? When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh, 8th of May 1969. <laughs> Porter, it would appear a number of your patrons are underage. If they're in here, it stops them getting into trouble out there. Yeah, yeah the way we see it, it's all for the greater good. The greater good. That's as may be, but the law's the law. Yeah, respect the law, please. <clears throat> I hope you're not planning on driving that. Mm -hmm. You? Ah! I'm 
taking you to the station. Where is it? <gasps> wow. <laughs> he decided to be right there. It's the choice. Nicholas Angel. Angel. Oh, when did you start? Tomorrow. Well, I see you've already arrested the old village. My pen's removed. Not a problem. Yes. <laughs> he has two. He's too tough, officer. We are the village green. Preservation Society. Morning, Sergeant. People already know him. Morning, Sergeant. We are Lock me up. I'm sorry? I'm a slasher and I must be stopped. A slasher. A crisis. Hmm. The inebriate and so forth. I don't know. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> he disappeared. Danny, can you open four? Who's gone? Ah! But this is him! This is him! Because I am one. I <gasps> see <gasps> so you've already met my boy. Yes. My boy means my officer or, or my son. I admire your enthusiasm, and far be it from me to stifle your flair. But this isn't London. Oh, yes, please, Danny. Geographical location shouldn't factor in the application of the law. <laughs> no thanks. Statistically, Sanford is the safest village in the country. Well. There's a reason we accommodate a few of the younglings at the pub. The greater good. The greater good, precisely. Only had one thing you haven't got. What's that, sir? A great big bushy beard! <laughs> Locker room. Riot room. <gasps> Red. Ah, no. It was Hachka. Hachhak. Hachhak. Detective Sergeant Wainwright and Detective Constable Cartwright. Don't get up. That is Sergeant Tony Fisher. PC Bob Walker. PC Walker. Is one Doris Thatcher. She's our only policewoman. She's not a policewoman. Hey, she is. I've seen her bra. Oh, since it's your first day and it's half past eleven, I'd say that's lunch. They're celebrating! What made you choose Sanford then, Sergeant Angel? It wasn't actually my choice. <laughs> yes. Well, your choice to come down here and tell me how to do my job. You see, boy, you know better, huh? <laughs> What? What did he say? You can't wait to jump into Sergeant Puffwell's grave. I'm not jumping into anyone's grave. Got a mustache. I know. <laughs> Did you shoot anybody? He shot a crackhead with a Kalashnikov. <gasps> Kalashnikov. The offender had the Kalashnikov. What? You do know there are more guns in the country than there are in the city. Everybody and their mums is packing around there. Like who? Farmers. Who else? Farmers' mums. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever fired two guns whilst jumping through the air? No. Have you ever fired one gun whilst jumping through the air? It seems like Danny admires Angel. Um, give the little blonde kid your hat. I'd rather not. Oh, wait, you're hitting stick about. No. <laughs> Angle. That won't be. Morning, Angle. Morning, Angle. Angle, no! The swan's escaped. Yeah. Right, and where's the swan escape from exactly? Uh, the castle. Oh, yeah, and who might you be? Mr. Staker. Yeah, Mr. Peter Ian Staker. P.I. Staker. Yeah. Right, piss taker. Come on! <laughs> what about this guy? Mr. Treacher? Yeah, why has he got that big coat on? Can't be cold. Why the extra layer? Maybe. He hides a gun. Mr. Treacher? He hides a Kalashnikov gun. Manager's office, Sergeant Angel. Ah, Sergeant Angel. Or is it Angle? Oh, come on! A baby sipped up in aisle six. Michael! Yar. Child vomit aisle six, mop it up. Yar. Well, maybe I'm not the one you should be keeping an eye on. His name's George Merchant, made a fortune in kitchen goods. Actually, I wasn't talking about him. Oh? No. I was talking about him. <gasps> Excuse me. Someone is stealing. Run. <laughs> yes, I knew it. Are you trouble in the high street? Sergeant Angel's having a spot of public. Roger that. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Through the gardens. What's the matter, Danny? You've never taken a shortcut before. He's in a good shape. Oh! <gasps> 
Danny, let's go! <laughs> Oops. <gasps> you got him. This one or another one? Oh my god, he's just the best one. Peter, be given a second chance. Before he becomes just another crime statistic. What? Stealing biscuits is wrong? Correct. And yet we respond by not taking a single punitive measure. Mr. Skinner. Is everything all right? Mr. Skinner feels it would be better not to prosecute an individual that has committed a blatant offense. Leave this with me. It looks suspicious. I mean, it, it seems like local people just avoid official crimes. I just feel like I'm missing out sometimes. I want to do what you do. You do do what I do. Why on earth do you think you're missing out on? Gunfights, car chases, proper action and shit. Oh. Fire up the roof. That was brilliant. <laughs> Danny, I love Danny. I love Danny. He's so cute. Last officer. Well, now you see, we are staging a homage to William Shakespeare. Romeo, not Julia. <laughs> <laughs> what are you writing? Everything you're saying. Look, this is preposterous. Preposterous. <laughs> He's writing. <laughs> Look, you're right. I apologize. See what I did then? You hypnotized him. <laughs> hypnotized! This notebook has saved my skin more times than I care to mention. Oh, I do use mine. Danny, you're really like an adult kid. Oi, you two. A Mr. Blower left you tickets. Well, we can't accept gifts from somebody we've officially rebuked, so... Huh. Ah, Nicholas, glad I called you. Wondered if you wouldn't mind representing us at the Amdrams tonight. Yes, sir, of course. And there's a spare for Danny, too. Hey! He's not glad! It was bargain to engrossing death. Here's to my love. It was a Juliet <sighs> near him in the car. I'll kiss thy lips. At least some poison doth yet hang on him. <laughs> What's going on? No! It was just awful acting. No, I don't want to see acting like this. Guys, you spelled Shakespeare too much. Sergeant Angel, hi, hi. Uh, quick word for the Sanford citizen. Uh, <clears throat> it was very enjoyable. Cop enjoys watching young lovers. I don't think so. <laughs> So thrilled you accepted my invitation. Well, our inspector requested we attend. I'm sure if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. Oh my god. He's scaring me. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. What? Who it was? To us. Was it? <gasps> Decaffeinated. Ah! What the hell? Sergeant Angel. Well, we should get a proper cordon off, screen the remains from public view, close down the road until the ambulance crew arrives, whereupon we should open a single lane of traffic and ease congestion. He's a professional. There right. never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Martin, indeed. Such a tragedy. Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? You know how it is? News travels fast. I love Scott Romeo. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like this man with... starch. Spot a bother up at Elroy Farm. Old Arthur Webley's been clipping hedgerows that don't belong to him. Yes, sir. That's it. Go there. Mr. Webley, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't for this one. You don't for this sir. He does for this one. What do you mean by this one? Where on earth did you get these? Firearm. Oh my god. It's a gun store or what? Well, Mr. Webley, this is an extremely dangerous collection. It's yes. Nah, use a lot of junk. Oh! Decision to touch that bomb. C bomb. It won't. No, apparently it's been deactivated over. That's right. Deactivate. He did it again. No. 
something wrong with hair of this man. It changed every time. Maybe we should do something to celebrate. What exactly did you have in mind? I don't know. Pup? It was second time when he invited. I'm getting a little drunk. Okay, I'll have one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mr. Porter, what's your wine selection? Oh, we got red or white. <laughs> I'd like it, please. <laughs> yeah, Roy. What made you want to be a policeman? Officer. What made you want to be a policeman officer? Policeman officer? <laughs> Danny, Danny, Danny. You're so funny. It all started with my uncle Derek. He was a sergeant in the Met. He bought me a police pedal car when I was five. I rode around in it every second I was awake, arresting kids twice my size for littering and spitting. I got beaten up a lot when I was young, but it didn't stop me. I wanted to be like Uncle Derek. Mm. It was from that moment I was destined to be a police officer. Shame. How so? I think you would have made a great Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What made you want to become a police officer? Dad does it. After my mum died, it's what he wanted, you know? Keep me close by. Hey, watch this. What? Ta -da! Party is coming. <laughs> How much do I owe you? 20 quid. There you go. Yeah. And there's your change. God bless you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm alright. You are not, definitely. Again! Someone in black hoodie. You wanna come in for a cup of coffee? I don't drink coffee. Tea? No caffeine after midday. How about another beer? Um. Again? <gasps> I did miss a few dinners, you know, parties, a birthday or two. I just want to be good at what I do. You are good at what you do. Mm hmm. I can show you how. By the Music? power of Grayskull. <laughs> Point Break or Bad Boys 2? Bad Boys 2. I didn't touch Bad Boys franchise. It was Keanu Reeves. Is ah! yeah! serious? It's <laughs> nothing, man. This is about to go off. What the hell? Nasty way to Jesus Christ. You let Mr. Merchant try to have a little fry up and left the gas on. Spends his whole life devoted to the refrigerator and gets killed by an oven. <laughs> what? Several times. You shouldn't eat late at night. I don't know, quite like a little midnight gobble. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> what with the to destroy all you. He has something sinister in his smile. Three people have died in a week. Oh, yes. come on, Dr. Sherlock. They were accidents. People have accidents every day. The victims knew each other. Uh, everyone knows everyone around there. If you didn't see anything suspicious, I know did. Aha! <laughs> Here it on back. Hi, Mr. Messenger. Can us talk to you about George Merchant? The churchyard, three o'clock. He has known something? Three o'clock. He's awaiting you, Angel. You should hurry up. A suspense moment, yeah, definitely. That's gonna... No! 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 Move! Ah! No! 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 Angel, you're a little bit late. Maybe two seconds and you could rest him. So I think all these deaths are linked. I think Tim Messenger was murdered. <sighs> Who could do something like this? Maybe it was the swan. Are you saying that this is a crime scene? Yes, sir, I am. Detectives, sir. start interviewing everyone who was at the bank. Uh, he's quite short. PC Thatcher. Yes, love. Yes, love. Get the CSI down here. <laughs> Nicholas, Danny, you know what to do. What? You really think this is murder? It's your job, is it? Detect! This ain't a city, Mr. Angel. Not everyone's a murdering psychopath. It's high time you realize that. You and your monkey. 
and said I could be an amazing policeman officer. There's always something going on, Danny, and you won't be an amazing police officer until you understand that. You don't know how to switch off. Yeah, Angel is too stubborn, man. I, I adore this trait in people, stubbornness. I really love it. You know, I think it's really too hard to work with people, with colleagues who don't like you. He's a new man in here and it's really hard to to be the best in, in new place because people sometimes look at you like, go home, dude. Why did you come here? Danny, I think I'm onto something. Are you? Yes, and I think with a little deliberation we can figure out what links these deaths. Me? Oui. Come on, partner. Let's go to work. Wouldn't be it funny if Danny is the killer? Maybe they were all accidents. Oh, people have accidents every day. <laughs> what are you two up to? Nothing. Oh, look, Sharp, there's been reports of a fire in the station. What? what? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Hey, hey, where are you going? Personal error. Sorry, you were talking about the offer. Well, it turns out that Martin Blower, God rest him, Pete Draper from the council, God rest her, and then that reporter, God rest him. God rest them. She said it ten times in a row. Would you just excuse me for just one second? Oh my God, that black hood is here. Ah, Angel, hurry up! You can get him. That stick is too heavy to break all window. Oh my god. I know you are gonna get him. No. Why did you stop? Leslie Tiller was f***ing murdered. Just like Tim Messenger. Yes. George Merchant. Yes. And Eve Draper. Yes. Martin Blower. No, actually. Really? Of course I f***ing was. <laughs> Murder, murder, murder. What are you suggesting? That Leslie Tiller tripped and fell on her own shears? Wait. Yeah, accidents happen all the time. What makes you think it was murder? <laughs> because I was there! <laughs> what absolute or sh I chased a suspect from the scene! Innocent people don't run! <laughs> <laughs> Am I going completely Guys, mad? just get serious, please. You are, you are officers, actually. And what's more, I know who did it. Who? Mr. Skinner to the manager's office. Manager's office. Yes! Skinner is the killer, I agree. Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie T This is him, this is him. I'm also arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Tim Messenger on May the 1st, of George Merchant on April the 29th, and of Eve Draper and Martin Blower on April the 28th. Why on earth would I do that, Sergeant? I'm glad you asked. Very entertaining, but I rather think you've been watching too many films. These accusations are quite meaningless, Sergeant, unless you can back them up with hard evidence. I'd need something conclusive. Something that placed you at the scene of the crime. Perhaps a wound you sustained on a piece of broken glass this very evening. <gasps> this very evening. He cannot find that wound. Oh my god, I was sure. Feel free to spool through. Okay, this is not Skinner. Who is the real killer then? Danny, you? <laughs> no, he's too cute for, for being a killer. I just can't believe Leslie's dead. How did it happen? She tripped and fell on her own shears. I love that type of humor. <laughs> no luck catching them killers then. It's just the one killer, actually. Seems like he's bored now, no? No luck catching them killers then. Killers! <gasps> Get us back to the station now! <laughs> Danny, Danny, Danny! <gasps> I think all of them, except Danny, are killers. <laughs> He's stuck. Michael, Michael, is everything okay? Yarp. Sergeant Angel's been taken care of. Yarp. He's not gonna get back up again. Narp? Good. Seek the castle. <laughs> Angel was acting brilliant. Arf. Please don't tell me Danny is a killer too. Stay here, okay? And watch him and call your dad. I don't trust his dad. He and other colleagues just look suspicious. 
They are praying. Oh boy, all of them are killers and walkie talkie. Well, well, well. I see we have visitors. Sergeant Nicholas Angel, Sanford Police Service. Yes! I'm arresting you under suspicion of conspiracy to commit murder. He got them. He got them! Calling yes. yourself a community that cares. Oh, but we do care, Nicholas. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. What do you mean? Blower's fate was simply the result of his being an appalling act. What? But this is true, actually. <laughs> and so Eve deserved to die, too. Oh, she did have a very annoying laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and George Merchant? He had an awful house. And, and, and what about Tim Messenger? What was his crime? Persistent errors. He listed her age as 55. When actually I'm 53. 53. <laughs> How can this be for the greater good? <laughs> Shut it! They repeat. <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. <gasps> I told you he's... He's involved too. Before he could say gypsy scum, we were knee-deep in dog muck, thieving kids and crusty jugglers. Crusty jugglers. <laughs> And whatever the cost, we would make Sanford great again. Come with us. Angel. Danny, no! No, Danny, no! Danny, no! <laughs> Is he alive? Ta da! <gasps> ketchup! Ketchup! Danny, I love you! Danny! I'm getting emotional. Go back to London. There's nothing you can do. We can do it together. Uh, you and me. Partners. Forget it, Nicholas. Music. What about all those people? Murders, actually. They crossed the law. They killed other people. They must pay. Sir? <laughs> He's shocked or what? Bad boys too! Is there anything I can do for you? Ah! No. This is something I have to do myself. He got confidence? Zeta color. <laughs> He's gonna return back. Where is your walkie-talkie? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh! He's like a brutal cop right now! He punched her! Oh my god! He broke her nose! Brutality. Oh, Sergeant Angel? Someone from London called for you. I'll turn your ring back. <laughs> my god! I didn't know we had a mounted division. Nobody told me nothing. Oh, of course he has a twin brother. It's like a symbol. He's riding a white horse. Like a real cool and brutal man. Not brutal. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Sanford! And music. Do, 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 do. Say something, say something! Morning. Yes. <laughs> I was waiting this word. <laughs> that sound reminds me Mario game. It's just a brutal action movie right now. <laughs> Danny, you want to try it? You're doing this. My God, this is this is a mess. Persist! Hide, hide, hide! Bingo! To be honest, I didn't even imagine this outcome. It was unpredictable. Let us stop this mindless violence, Father. Nicholas, my son. 
You may not be a man of God, but surely you're a man of peace. But I know right, and I know wrong. Oh, f grasshopper. Ah! <laughs> even Priest, even Priest did it. Unbelievable. Dr. Atcha, no! Shut up, Danny. I brought you into this world. I think it's rather fitting I should be the one to take you out of it. <gasps> How? How? You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, my <laughs> My boy. I just love that part of the movie because it was so unpredictable and this is so cool and so like the craziest things are happening right now. All people around involved in this process. <sighs> Say something and I will not get it. He's awesome, yeah. Oh, arp, arp, arp. My god, he's too big, guy. He's too big. <laughs> Easy. Nice one, Doris. Nothing like a bit of girl on girl. <laughs> <laughs> No way, no way! I believe I can fly! <laughs> Seriously! Oh, <laughs> it's so cute! I'm gonna die of laughing! My cheeks hurt! Ah! <sighs> Stop! You're gonna kill him! It's not your village anymore! Yeah. Ta. What's your name? Aaron Aarons. Sorry? Ha, uh, Aaron uh, Aronson! <laughs> A knife! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Down ways to die! Oh. oh, he's alive! I'll tell you how this is gonna end! <gasps> Don't wanna shoot because he's father. Ah! Swan became a cop. The figures have gone a little squiffy in your absence, it has to be said. Come back to London. Oh, really? Now you are inviting him back? Uh, official vocab guidelines state that we say staff and not manpower because uh, <laughs> manpower is a bit sexist. <laughs> You don't mind a bit of manpower, do you, Doris? Oh, dirty bastard! <laughs> uh, what? You know what you are. A bloody busybody! No! No! Ah, oh, Danny, no! Uh oh! Jesus Christ, no. And now was the time. Hold on, Danny, just hold on! Oh, no, no, don't fine. tell me he's, he's gonna, gonna die, fine. please. It's not a drama. He mustn't die. He mustn't. No. Hope these are okay. Yeah. They're lovely. Mother. <laughs> I almost have started. Crane. Messing with the recycling bins at the supermarket. Leave it with us. Little hands says it's time to rock and roll. Bring the noise. Oh my god. It was a cool movie. I'm delighted with the film, guys. And you know, I laughed so much that my cheeks <laughs> hurt, hurt now. I really like Angel and Danny's character. Danny was especially sweet, and I even like him a little bit more because I was able to see his development throughout all the movie. He gained courage and determination and became a real cop. I also like humor in this film because it was sometimes it was witty and it was really funny. Sometimes I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> 
Plus, I was surprised by the plot that in the village there is a group of people, village people, who did all those crimes for benefit village title. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm sure I've never seen anything like this before. And the coolest part of the movie was the final part, where just a wild mess with a shootout began. It was awesome and entertaining. So guys, now the time when I want to know what do you think about this movie. Please share with me all your emotions, feelings and ideas. Feel free to leave your comment down below. And if you like my video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I always very appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new. I look forward to watching and you move with you again very, very soon. See ya!